like a rhinestone cowboy. Dun, dun. What's up, everybody? We got some Dark Souls 2 here. Uh, this time we're at the gutter in Black Gulch. I got some little tricks and tips for you guys. I noticed a lot of people when I was playing and getting summoned, they didn't know about this little trick. So I'm gonna show you guys a cool little secret. Okay, basically right here, you're gonna drop down on that little ledge. A lot of people don't know about that. It's easier to see if you have a torch, but it's right here. You can see, you just drop down. And I'll show you again one more time. Just aim between those two rocks. See the little gap right there and you should make it. And then you can come up here and talk to oh, this girl and continue the storyline if you haven't been doing it. What and is this? if you notice, we bypassed all those little tar pits and we're right here. Make sure if it's your first time though, you do go back over there. There's a chest over there. But we're gonna go to another secret part. We're gonna drop down right here. Make sure you get rid of these annoying things. I can't stand them. I hate them with a passion. But we're gonna drop down again right here on the right side. Just right about there. You can look down and you can actually see this one. And then we're gonna hug the wall to the left. We'll wait for this guy to come down here. Just teaching people how to get down here. Okay, so we're gonna hug the left side. We're gonna roll, turn back around, and wait for him again. Come on, you can do it, don't be scared. And then we're gonna hug the right side of the wall, and we're gonna drop right here. That one's kinda iffy, so just make sure you're hugging the wall. Now this part, there's gonna be some giants in here, and they're extremely tough. So the more people you have with you, the more giants there will be. Now actually, it could be up to four. If you go by yourself, there's two. You have another person with you, two. And if you have two people with you, then there's four. But you're gonna make your way all the way to the back here in this little cave and they can't hit you from back here. So you can just do some ranged attacks, maybe poison them. And then after you do that, they're gonna drop the Lost Forgotten Key and it's gonna open up another little secret that I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so we killed the giants and now we're making our way out here. We're supposed to go to the left when you exit the cave. This was the first time I was in here so I didn't know where to go, but we're gonna make our way over here and there's another little hole now you got to be careful there is a little item over there it looks tempting I didn't even see the gap and I died like a noob so don't make my mistake but basically you're gonna take that up there this time after you get the key we're just gonna drop down right here again and now we can open this door it also opens another big stone door when you first come down here there's a stone door you can't get when you go down the well and it should open that door nice job at dead end it's actually not a dead end there's three of these altars and you're gonna talk to this guy this is the first time you see him and after you talk to him the third time he's supposed to have some really powerful spells and other items that you can buy from him so this is the first time we've seen him now whenever you get to the boss area if you're having trouble with them uh, you can block almost every single attack so don't be afraid to hold up your shield if you do want to roll away from him make sure you roll in the opposite direction he swings his hatchet thing and that's a little tip for you the next place we're going to go to is the iron keep so make sure you subscribe there's actually a lot of hidden walls and little secrets over there so if you haven't subscribed yet hit that button hit that thumbs up button and stay epic